Hello there, and welcome to the Cool Beans Guide to DJ. Hi. Now, some experts believe that DJing was invented in the 13th century by Vikings. Other people claim it was a man in a tracksuit in the 1970s. I personally believe that it was created in a magical cave just south of Croydon by a wizard called Jim. Whatever you believe, DJ is now huge and everybody wants a piece of the action. Before you get started, you're going to need the right gear or nobody's going to take you seriously. Much better. Right then, so you're gonna need all the basic DJ equipment. I'm talking your spinny things, your box in the middle, your earphones, your computer. Some people like the computer because you can check your MySpace or play on Roberto Baggio's Magical Kicks. What a game. So the most important thing to remember when beat matching is to release both your songs at exactly the same time. Like this. Once they're going, Try and get them in sync with each other, or beat match them. The quicker you can do this, the better. If you're in a club setting and you take more than a minute, you'll probably move on to your next couple of songs. Now some DJ purists say that you're not a real DJ unless you can scratch. But everyone knows that scratching is really, really hard. So why not just use a pre-recorded scratch that a better DJ has made and just pretend? Why stop with scratching? Why don't you pre-record your whole set? Then you'll be freed up and able to do other cool things. Cool things like Yeah, yeah, I watched this morning. Yeah, it's a pre-recorded mix, sounds great, doesn't it? Be warned though, using pre-recorded sets can upset quite a lot of people and you might get trolled. Now everybody knows that using an air horn sample improves whatever you're playing. Just watch. If there's one thing she don't need is another What also is very useful is the gunshot. Now, sometimes when you're DJing, you may get a lot of requests, like stop playing so many Olivia Newton-John songs. I'll let you in on a little secret though. Just tell them that you're deaf and you can't hear them. That way you won't have to play the request. Now I almost forgot about the most important part of DJing. Rave eggs. Rave eggs. Rave eggs. Rave eggs. Always make sure you've got one or two rave eggs placed in the middle of your little box thing. Rave eggs. Because you know what the crowd say. Once they've seen the rave of eggs, they won't stop moving their rave legs. Rave eggs. Rave eggs. Rave eggs. Right, I think we've about covered DJing then. Be safe out there, young apprentices. Don't go drowning in a sea of women and booze. I wouldn't want that on my conscience. Not now, not never.